Annie from St. Anne's Cheese Company changing the world one nibble of Alpine cheese at a time. We are going to discuss in February and March fondue and fondants. What not to do with melted cheese to elevate your Swiss Alpine cheese game. First of all, we have to talk about the cheese. And just very, very simply, I'm going to go through either packaged products that are popping up at the grocery store, which I will call cheater fondue. Um, in a pinch, if you really need something for a party, you could do it. But let me share with you on a couple of the ingredients that I'm not so hot on. This one is Swiss cheese. It says Emmentaler, Gruyere, Raclette, polyphosphates, disodium phosphate, and guar gum. These might be sort of good, but they're trying to keep this for shelf life and they're adding guar gum and stabilizers that just don't add any flavor. And in some of those products, they could be laxatives and really bother your stomach. So this one I would throw out. This is from the Italians and I'm part Italian. I'm okay with Italian cheese, but they're trying to get in on the fondue game. Theirs is called fonduda. This is a provolone. It's a mild provolone that they have put in a little plastic pot that you can put in the microwave. And we're going to Switzerland. Um, this kind of comes in a bag where you can um, reseal it, which has some benefits to it. This one has Gruyere, which I like that, but then they say 50% Swiss cheese. And there really is no such thing as Swiss cheese. There might be Gruyere, there might be Appenzeller, but Swiss cheese is sort of like a generic term that they haven't tried hard enough to put the right cheese in the packet. The potato starch to protect caking, you can see that in here, it's going to come up in your flavors. We're not doing that one. We are going to stick with different amounts of real Alpine cheese, and those can come in a couple different ways. My favorite, favorite uh, fondue cheese on my secret recipe is Vacheron Fribogé. Love that cheese. You add that into your fondue, it tastes like a Swiss cheese hut. Then we have Emmentaler. So sometimes when people say Swiss cheese, you're thinking maybe of Emmentaler, but we want to use it by name. Comte is the French version of Gruyere. And Comte is a very, very popular cheese in France. If you can't find Gruyere, um, they're very similar. Again, it is a French cow versus a Swiss cow. In this particular recipe, we would prefer to have Swiss cheeses if you're staying true to if it grows together, it goes together. But Comte is a great cheese. Appenzeller, wonderful cheese to add into uh, your fondue pot. It comes from a different part of Switzerland, so you're getting sort of different Swiss cows eating different Swiss grasses in and shred all of this up. You're going to get a great, great flavor. And then Gruyere. Gruyere is a great melty cheese, and so there are different amounts that you can shred these and, and put them in. When you take the time to shred, rather than get one of those packets, hey, you're going to spend a little time with your family. This is only going to take you about 10 minutes to get a real fresh cut with your cheese, and you kind of want to get it to room temperature. Hang on for a second, and we are going to bubble up some cheese and talk a little bit about the accompaniments in our fondue pot. We just put the fondue in there. I usually make it on the stove um, just to get it uh, super hot. And then to put it on the flame. And stir it up. That's looking really super great. Yummy get your accompaniments. And these are all really super important. Pretzels, meat, um, broccoli is a great one, cauliflower, potatoes. So we're gonna keep mixing that in. Looks great. And the secret ingredient is just a teeny bit of Kirsch. Right before you do it, it breaks it up. And then you can dip with a piece of meat and we're not double dipping. We've learned that through the pandemic. So just one little bite. We can use just barbecue skewers. 
Excellent. You can have your own fork. Okay, so a little bit of vegetables, something with acid, a little bit of acid in it, and it'll break up and help that cheese digest. That's fondue. Hope to see you at class. Changing the world one nibble of fondue at a time. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.